Disney Lung Fam, it's Beth and welcome back to my channel. So today we have some really exciting things to open for you guys. We've got new pins in the park, new wishables. In case you didn't know, I went back home to Chicago for the past week. I was photographing a wedding, so I was away from the park and then when I came back, all of this new stuff has shown up now that it's October. And one of the things that came out was the Skyliner Mystery Pins. These are to celebrate the brand new opening of the Skyliner Transit System. We wrote it yesterday. It was really actually pretty fun. They are super smooth. They just glide you right up there. You get really nice views. They're really cool for not being air conditioned. Like we had really nice breezes. And we got to go in the Toy Story Alien car, so Johnny was really excited about that. But I am really excited to open these for you guys. I had picked up some of these and they were really actually hard to track down just because I was a few days behind on when they actually released these into the park. So uh, these sold out really, really quickly. We actually went back today and the park is now officially sold out everywhere. But uh, Hopefully they're going to restock soon. So I only have three of these to open today. There are eight in total for this pin collection. They're all on the back of this box. So I will show you guys that in a second before I open them, but they are just really cute pins. So I'm really excited about these. All right, so here is what the front of our box looks like. It says magic in the air, which I absolutely love. I think the other just kind of logo pin that they made for this was really cute. So like I said, there are eight pins in this collection. There are two pins per box. And here on the back are our different choices. We've got Minnie and Mickey up here. They are taking a picture. I think that one is pretty cute. Then we've got Snow White, some of the dwarves, Belle, which I would really love to get, Peter Pan, Stitch, which is another one I'm hoping for. And then down at the bottom, we have Winnie the Pooh, which is probably the number one one, <laughs> the number one one, that sounds strange, the number one pin that I am trying to get just because I would pass it along to Jessica since she is a big poo collector. And then we've got the Haunted Mansion Ghosts as well as some of our Pirates from the Caribbean. So all in all, we have a pretty good mix of characters in this set. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we've got. There is no way for me to complete the set since I was only able to get these three boxes. So at this point, we're pretty much just hoping for no doubles. And I have not seen any of these pins in person yet, so I am really excited. So here is going to be our first one. Okay, it looks red on the viewfinder. I'm not sure. That could be Mickey and Minnie. Let's see, it is, it is the pirate. Okay, so you know what? I, at first, just from seeing pictures of these pins, like in the different previews, I didn't think they looked that good, but actually, in person, they look way better than I thought they would. Um, yeah, these are actually a pretty decent quality, and these pins are actually a really decent size as well. So here is what the pirates look like. I love this because it's kind of like they're in their jail cell. But uh, yeah, these actually have a lot of detail on them and they definitely, I don't know, for some reason in the photo, they kind of looked like they were soft enamel with like a coating on them, but that is not the case at all. All right, let's see what this next one is. Ah. <gasps> okay. This isn't one that I had said that I wanted, but I'm actually really happy for this one. It is the Hitchhiking Ghosts. Of course, we are now in October, so it is totally Halloween season. So this one is definitely appropriate to get. And I mean, who doesn't love Haunted Mansion? Okay, not bad for our first box. So I will say when I purchased these, two of the boxes were like together wrapped in a bundle. So I'm really hoping that those two aren't gonna be doubles. I never know if that like helps or hurts to like get ones that were packaged next to each other from the manufacturer. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed for us at this point because this could be a double box. And it's another hitchhiking ghost set. Ugh. 
All right, that was my fear. I don't know why I just showed you that. You don't need to see that again. You just saw it, and that probably means that this is pipe. It is not pirates. Okay, so these are gonna be a little more random, I think, just because there's not that many designs. But we got one that I really wanted, which is Stitch. Uh, I think this one is just so funny as he's licking the glass inside the Skyliner. I mean, come on, that is hilarious. Ah, oh, he's so cute. Okay, that was not so bad. I mean, like I said, I can take another hitchhiking ghost. Pirates, I'm not like that big of a Pirates fan. I am sorry. So, you know, it's okay. Let's, let's hope that these last two are not doubles. Come on, no doubles. Ugh, this is what I hate about pins. And they're, you know, they're not like the cheapest box just because these are a limited release set. And so I'm not sure if they will be back or not. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It is a third hitchhiking ghost set. Well, uh, hopefully I can at least like trade these or I don't, I don't even know what I'll do with these yet. I'll probably keep a couple on my little miscellaneous board. Like the stitch one is really cute. Johnny has a small stitch collection. <sighs> Please be at least maybe Winnie the Pooh. What is this? Okay, it's red, so it's definitely not. That means it's either Pirates or Mickey and... It is Mickey and Minnie. Okay, so this is the one that I kind of personally wanted for my collection just because they are holding a camera and I love any sort of pins that have cameras on them. Like I said, I am a photographer, so... Yeah, this one is actually perfect and a great way to end this little unboxing. All right, definitely happy about these. And yeah, the quality of these is nowhere near as bad as I thought from the photos. I think, I don't know, maybe these pins just don't photograph well or something, but these actually look really nice. So I'm like really impressed by these and happy about that. So let me know if you guys picked up any of these and if you're gonna try to complete the set. Have you been on the Skyliner yet? Was it a lot of fun? Cause we had a really good time. Half of the route was actually closed already, but you know, we still just kind of rode it to Caribbean Beach and back and it was a really nice time. So now that we are done opening those, I did also just see these in the park today. These are brand new and I just had to buy a bag. I know I'm like into super like pink and girly stuff, but I do really like Halloween and kind of getting into the season. I always watch Nightmare Before Christmas. I just love that movie and I especially love Zero and this bag has Zero in it. So these of course are the Wishables. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas set. We've got Santa Jack, Zero, Scary Teddy, and then the Snake Christmas Tree Guy. Does he have a name? Giant Snake. Very descriptive, Disney. So, I definitely kind of felt around in the bags in the store, and I'm pretty sure this is a Zero. I am not very good at feeling around for these things. I try my best when people have requests, but like, I can never guarantee. So, uh... I just really want Zero. The other one was really cute. It was a Santa Oogie Boogie. He's the one that's out of the pack, so there's no picture of him on this, but yeah, I was just really excited to see these. So I've never opened a Wishable ever. We got the alien ones, but those weren't in a bag. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, open this and hope it's Zero. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna be so sad if I'm wrong. Well, that was anticlimactic. That did not even open the bag. All right. Oh, man, I thought we did so good. It is not zero. <laughs> but maybe I can trade for him. This one's super cute, though. It is Scary Teddy. These are just so soft. If you've never felt wishables before, like, ugh. What are you waiting for? I just love that these are super kind of Japanese inspired. They're very cutesy. They're very squishy and I, yeah, just love them. So, womp womp, no zero. I don't know what we were feeling that both Johnny and I were so sure that this was zero. Well, that is okay. Super cute. If any of you guys have an extra zero and you open these and want to trade, let me know. So, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now that I am back from Chicago, going to be definitely making a whole bunch of new videos for you guys. I've got a lot of stuff planned that I am excited about. So October is gonna be a really good month. So make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys very soon for another video. Thanks so much for watching.